Hey everyone, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It's the Longland map. Yeah, okay, so I got a new microphone, so hopefully the audio issues have been uh, straightened out. Um, I'm still uh, getting the uh, levels dialed in, so we'll see if I uh, end up with anything you know better on that front. Uh, anyway, uh, we're sitting here looking at Mega City 1, uh, where we are delivering uh, fuel, right? But we need to deliver goods. Now, uh, if we look at this here, it looks like we're covering all of the relevant uh, places. Uh, so we just need to go and get our uh, goods into uh, Mega City 1. So that's going to take a, a slight bit of uh, finagling, potentially. Okay, so we need to come down on this line which comes in over here. Where's the goods factory? The goods factory is way over here. Okay, so this line comes in here, it comes around this way. It has it has a connection point over to there which can get around into Okay, so that's not ideal, but this one, it can come up, it goes up this way, and then, no, that can't do anything useful either. Okay, so, um, hmm, well, let's take a look at the lines over here. Why do we have, why do we have machines here? Huh. Um, okay, lines. Okay. You know what? No, I don't know what. You're gonna, you're gonna tell us, right? Well, yeah, probably. So, I think I'll just fling a, tra a train at this and uh, see what it does. Uh, yeah, I know that's, uh, uh, terribly, uh, terribly exciting, isn't it? Um, okay, so we're going to, yeah, we don't, have... okay, so we're going to grab a train. Uh, the big boy can do ridiculous. Yeah, we'll use the A4. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll grab, uh, cargo. And this is goods. So that's going to be a box car, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so we'll buy two of them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a new line, which will go from the goods operation over here. Yeah. And it will go way over here to Mega City 1. And what do you know? It figured out how to do it. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll accept that. So that's Emerald City Goods to Mega City 1. Yeah. Well, I called it MC1. Okay. Well, why don't you just change it to MC1 then? Uh, well, you could type better. Yeah, I, I, I really could type better. Uh, okay. Wait, you want to uh, you want to get on one of these here trains? Now, let's uh, let's just ride this and see how egregious this really is. Uh, so we're heading for the goods factory, so we'll eventually get there. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to rejig this station. Right. Well, at least we've got locos that are powerful enough to get moving quickly. You know, I think I said that the last five episodes, too. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so we're we tick through here. Okay, now, which way did it pick into and out of the goods factory? That is the question, I think. Well, it's a question. I don't know if it's the question. Uh, we're just about to find out, I think. Because I didn't bother looking, of course. You know, like, why would I bother looking? Oh, yeah, we went to the, we went around the bottom. That's, that's what we needed to do. Okay. Yeah, this one may turn out to be uh, a non uh, a non difficult uh, situation. Uh, the next one, though, I think is going to be a little more challenging. Okay. We come around. We go over the over the water, and we just wang into a platform, like right here. We're going to take 16 boxes of goods. That's the other train on the same line, isn't it? Okay, so now we head for Mega City 1. That's a little bit trippy. Right, okay. Now, it'll take a while to get there. Um... Uh, so, you know, I think I wanted to uh, pontificate on some stuff, but I'm not going to. Uh, pontification, that just seems like it's uh, a waste of, uh, you know, effort and all. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is the, uh, I think this gets us to the point where we're basically done with the freight uh, at this point, And then it's down to rejiggering a couple of the bottleneck stations, I think. Um, we got, I think there's one more goods delivery, um, I think, and if it's one more goods delivery, then, uh, I think we're probably at a, uh, pretty solid point where we can start rejiggering, uh, stations and know exactly what we have, uh, and that, that will make a big difference in potential throughput. You know, if we can put bypass tracks and all of that stuff, set it all up nice and uh, clean so that through trains don't have to interfere with um, uh, trains in, you, you know, that are stopping. Stopping trains, that's what, the, you know, through trains and stopping trains, you know. Uh, there will be some uh, potential uh, improvements in the network uh, operations by doing that. And I think that will be, maybe I'll, I'll pick on one of those for the next episode. You know, right before uh, Christmas. And I might pick on a couple more uh, uh, bottleneck points. Uh, you know, to, to round out the year. Now, of course, if you're watching this from the future, uh, that all didn't mean much at all. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, for, for the uh, people watching this in the future... Yeah, it's uh, just coming up on Christmas soon, you know, so. Yeah, coming up on the end of the year, right? In the second year of the apocalypse of the 21st century. Okay, now we swap over to the other line. Right. I didn't think more than one thing was going to use this swap over when I made it. Right. Uh, okay, so now uh, we're uh, on the uh, the home stretch here, I think. We'll, okay, I think I need a signal or two more al along here if I'm going to run more trains on it. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I, where I was going with this is I think I'm going to uh, have a couple more a couple more episodes uh, of this uh, this one, and then maybe I'll go uh, I'll I'll uh, well. I gotta finish the passengers, right? Uh, the passenger connections, and I think it might be uh, good to uh, make those electric now that we have electric trains. So, um, 
maybe that'll be uh, the thing is separating the passenger main you know into its own mainline tracks and uh, running that more uh, more directly now that we have uh, uh, gruntier trains and all of that right yeah okay, we're just about coming up into mega city one now And here we go, right on in. Good. Well, that works. We're good. Right? Okay, so we got uh, goods into there, and then we needed goods down here at Avalon, I think. Right? Uh, Avalon? Yeah, we needed goods at Avalon. Now, I think we have a connection point for this already as well okay so we uh, come through here uh, we come through here we come up through here yeah we have a connection point for Avalon okay so um, where do we get a train depot we have a train depot here. Okay. Uh, right. So we're going to add boxcars. And we're going to grab an A4 because that worked. Yeah. And then we'll, uh, we'll just uh, do a new line. Uh, we need the goods uh, place. Yeah. Where's the goods place? The goods place. Um, let's run that into six. Yeah. Did that go into six? Um, yeah, I think it did. Okay. And then we'll go, uh, back over to Avalon and add that that can't get through okay what what did I do that's just a passenger station ah right okay uh, that's a passenger station um, you know, I want to see, let's just go over here and buildings, <clears throat> Avalon needs con mats too. Are we bringing that in by truck? I think we are. Uh, are we? We are. Shangri-La. What are we, uh, what are we bringing in here? Conmats and food. Okay. Well, yeah, I think, um, I think what we'll do is we'll just grab one of these and just see uh, see where the stuff is. Okay, so I, I can, uh, I should be able to uh, adjust this. Okay, so we'll put that there like that. And like that. And then we'll do a platform for cargo. And then we'll do a cargo building. Nope. We need tendrils. Well, there's tendrils. That covers... Not enough, does it? No. Okay, well, what we're going to do is... Uh, 
put that there and uh, get rid of that and that that and that um, right now we're gonna pause that and get rid of that yeah now we need some roads right well we start out with that yep can we get up yep can we get over here yep that works better okay we can accept that take that out uh and that and just do that okay right um okay now we'll see what happens right uh what do we need here we need uh track type we need a track type affair here uh right okay so if we do this yeah and this yeah and uh this yeah uh what about this yeah we can do that too okay now we can go in here, we can grab line one, we can manage it, we can add a station, and we can add that. And blammo, it works! Okay, so cargo train, Emerald City goods to Avalon. Yeah, uh, Emerald City goods to Avalon. Waiting for free path. We will now go over here and observe and uh, it will unpause everything uh right now let's uh let's take a ride along here and see how everything goes because we started out over by avalon here i believe did we we're at mega city um Okay. Well, let's um, let's just see. Like it, it thinks it can make the connection, so uh, everything should be okay there. This is proper busy. Uh, I like it. Uh, I I don't think I've got a map to this point uh, in uh, ages here. Um, Certainly not a map where the uh, transportation uh, has long hauls and works this nicely. I'm not complaining, mind. Uh, and this was kind of the goal of the map, right? Was to get uh, to get more of these uh, these uh, uh, connection points working and uh, to have a, a large cargo operation, right? And that does seem to have paid off. And things have kind of evolved uh, organically, right? Which was also a goal. Now, I think Mega City 1 and Avalon were the last two for uh, goods delivery. So, if that was the case, then I think we've got everything covered. And I'll just check on the... Uh, you know, while this is ticking along over here, I'm going to uh, grab... No. I'm going to grab, no, I'm going to grab, yes, no, I'm going to grab the town statistics, yes. Right, okay, so town statistics. Uh, we are delivering no fuel to Castle Rock. Um... Castle Rock. We do have a fuel delivery line there. Okay. No, we got fuel there. Emerald City isn't showing any. Okay, so we got... We got Raccoon City showing nothing of anything. Okay. No, it's got goods and, uh, and fuel uh, connected up. 
pork belly. Um, freight delivery. Uh, okay. That, I think, is not... No, it, uh, it should be. Um, so pork belly. Uh, we're getting... Uh, okay, so where's the freight line coming from? Freight hub. Okay, are we delivering fuel into here? Tools. We're not... Okay, we need to get fuel into Pork Belly, which means fuel into the Danville Freight Hub. Yeah, okay. So we'll just uh, make a note of that. Right. Um, Mega City 2... Um, machines. Yep, yeah, that one is uh, operating. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's got it covered. Okay. Uh, now we're heading to Avalon. Back with our train. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that part's fine. So, we need to get here with fuel. Okay. Where's the uh, fuel refinery operation? It's over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, what if we buy a an A4 with uh, tanks on it? Yep. Okay, so we'll buy one of those. Yep. New line from here. Yep. And then uh, we'll go to here. Yeah. Well, that one seems to be uh, uh, Hawkins Fuel Refinery to Danville Freight. Okay. I think that now gets everything. Um, now, let's go look over here. No, we're fine there. Yep. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that now gets everything on the uh, the freight side of things. So we'll just uh, come over here and uh, drop in at uh, Avalon. We'll just um, uh, we're just gonna do some uh, some spotting here, and we're gonna turn off everything. And we're just gonna observe. Right? Uh, so, yeah, we'll just observe things. Uh, so, we got a train coming in here. That's a passenger train. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so the, the plan for next time, uh, assuming I don't forget, is to start. Uh, I think maybe uh, upgrade or uh, rejig uh, stations uh, that seem like they could benefit from it. Uh, largely, I think try to uh, 
redo some of the the larger stations so that they have better uh, throughput operations. Uh, uh, you know, so that through trains, you know, work better. Maybe quad tracking a few lines, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, maybe. Uh, or I might just uh, get on and start doing passenger work, and that may be uh, a case where I redo freight stations and so on in conjunction with that. Uh, yeah, I think that might be a thing to do. Maybe I maybe I can work on on passengers, uh, get them up, uh, maybe with some electric rail, that sort of thing. Maybe uh, I don't know. Uh, something to consider. Uh, oh, we got a train uh, tooling in here. Uh, if we uh, come in like this, we can see the train has just rolled on in. Yep. And off it goes again. Now I do kind of wonder where the this guy is. Wherever that guy is, he's uh, ticking through somewhere. That's a uh, passenger. No, that picked up the passenger. Oh, you got to turn on the icons to do that. Right. So if we go in here and we grab... Um, well, we could go in the station list, right? Do we have a station list? Yeah, we do have a station list, right? Station stats. So this is Avalon. Avalon Cargo. There we go. This guy. Where are you? Waiting. Um, okay. Heading for Avalon, at least. Oh, yeah. It's coming along the, uh, the main line there. So things should start... Uh... Oh, wow. That's kind of an interesting uh, setup there. No, we're waiting for a free path again. Uh, yeah. That's something that, uh, that I might want to uh, look at, is all of these uh, uh, peripheral routes. You know, just settling in, like, like replacing the train, settling them in at a rate that can handle the full freight from each, uh, you know, producer, that sort of thing. Uh, it might be uh, worth going to some of the uh, other places and uh, downgrading some of the co connections to uh, uh, to uh, trucks or upgrading, you know, depending how you uh, view it. Uh, yeah, that might be uh, worth doing as well. But we don't have to worry about what it's costing us to run the network we've got. You know, we're up to almost $14 billion in the bank, right? And it's uh, 1945. So, um, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, so having... Uh, Having basically unlimited money uh, <laughs> kind of uh, uh, brings things down to being basically a model uh, a model set, right? Uh, and, you know, there's there's not such a it's not such a bad thing, really. You know, the thing it behaving like a model set, you know, that sort of thing. Eh, not so bad, really. Um, <coughs> There's a uh, freight train come in. Yep. It actually delivered some. Yep. Yeah, so that's working. That, I believe, is the... I believe that is, in fact, the, uh, the freight connections all complete. Now, I already have, I think I already have the every producer, every consumer um, uh, achievement. So, 
uh, you know, I won't get that from doing this. Um, even if I didn't have mods installed, right? Uh, but, you know, so this here, what's our coverage? Yeah, our coverage is pretty good. Cashman's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's all working out uh, quite well. This is almost to the point where the uh, the traffic is going to take off internally here uh, between the, the town sites here. And it's going to start getting to the point where they merge into a, a megalopolis agglomeration thing, right? Um, right. Anyway, that is the freight situation sorted out. Now, I did bring... I did handle the uh, Danville one, right? Um, where is Danville? No. Yeah, I did handle it, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, now we got fuel coming in there. Good. Okay, well, uh, next time around, it's not going to be uh, plumbing in a new freight line. Uh, I will, in fact, uh, figure out something else to do. I uh, don't know what it'll be, but I'll, I'll figure it out. It's probably going to be something uh, vaguely related to uh, trains. Uh, I mean, seriously, uh, why wouldn't it be? Maybe I'll start over here at um, the... Uh, DC complex here and uh, uh, yeah DC comics right uh, the DC complex and uh, just take a look take a hard look at all the passenger connections and everything and see see how everything can uh, can be plumbed together and uh, see see how we can do a uh, an improvement here maybe uh, maybe start at this end of the map and uh, go and, and run to the other end uh plumbing in uh a uh, maybe a high a high speed passenger line or something like that that might be a good way to cap everything out anyway uh that's going to be all for this time so you know go ahead like comment subscribe you know that business or you can hit dislike if you prefer uh the button is still there last i checked even though there's no count so you can do that and uh, also, the bell, if you turn that on, you may get some notifications that you might find useful. Yeah, entirely up to you. Uh, and I guess, see you back next time.